And retired Foreign Service Officer Ogbole Amedudi joins us on the news for an expert's view on the application of this. Good to have you join us, Ogbole Amedudi. Now, help us understand the implication of this. Um, a lot has been said about it, but let, let help us understand what is the implication of this. Thank you for having me on your program. The implications uh, are obvious and for the bilateral relations between Ghana and Nigeria. Um, looking back into history, uh, after independence, of course, uh, you recall that um, relations between the two countries have always been fraught now, um, not going beyond even competitions uh, in, 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 the, in the field of football matches between the two uh, West African neighbors and whatnot. Relations are also cultural, uh, if you look at it because of the kind of exchange we have and all. Have not say that the implications is obvious and the obvious nature of it lies in the fact that it could severely damage these fraternal relations. Uh, but before if we... it is not quickly managed and managed very well. All right, so before we even get to how this could this can be managed, um, but if Nigeria also fails to um, respond appropriately, what would also be the implication of that? Now, I wouldn't know what do you mean by appropriate response, but diplomacy is a game of tact, it's a game of patience, and even at that, that your response must be well informed. Being well informed means that you have to have all the necessary and adequate facts behind the story before you respond, such that when you respond, it will be one that is regarded, one that is seen as informed response. All right, so, um, so far, this is our re um, um, response. The Nigerian government uh, is demanding that um, that building, especially the House of Reps, they're demanding that that building be rebuilt by the Ghanaian government and the corporates be handed over to Nigeria for prosecution. Is that enough? Well, let us look at it this way. On the Ghanaian side, like I said, let me start from the beginning, the way I view it. Um, if, if a certain element, Ghanaian element, did carry out that act, which is uh, ascertained to be true, the question that the Ghanaian side has to answer is this. Did Nigeria own the land? And if yes, was it owned by way of purchase or by way of reciprocal exchange of reciprocal allocation? Now, if the answer is yes, the second question is that the developments go so far on the property it was the development approved by the relevant authorities in Ghana, for example, the building permit. If the answer is yes, then of course Ghana has some questions to answer. But if the answers are to the negative, then the Nigerian side, the High Commission specifically, has some queries to answer. All right, um, foreign service expert. Amedu, many thanks for talking to TVC News.